Maybe we should be 100% sure before making any blanket statements like that, huh? Even one of those guys lived through that? We're gonna have a serious situation on our hands. Some of you have got to be alive. Stormcloud 1-1, one, one. this is Weaver, come in, over! This is Weaver, come in, over! Anything? Who got? Contact, contact! Walker, 
shall we, Weaver? Lead. Does anyone read? Five by five, ghost lead. Who is this? A friend. I got the radio from a ghost. This ghost still breathing. Ghost lead, you can chase the white rabbit. Or run with the red queen. Give me a sit rep. I can wait. Your man's getting medical treatment. Follow the trail behind the ancient ruins. Your destination is in the mountains between two waterfalls. Understood. Ghost lead out. Stop right there! <clears throat> Who are you? I was invited. Who the hell are you? Another one. You can always turn around and go back down the mountain. Things are a little tense, you know? Just watch how you handle that weapon. We don't allow shooting in Erewhon. And what's Erewhon? The cave. So we call it. Get in.
What is this place? Are you boys all right or what? We're the only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. <sighs> Can you believe this place, man? Our mind's blown. Yep. And they're friendly, more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. <sighs> you boys know what took out our birds? No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Tangled with some troops out there who were calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? Now you're dealing with me. You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw-up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? I'm just trying to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago overall went dark. Now, we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, our choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell, there's some kind of military takeover. Sentinel, military contractors, they put this place under martial law, using the old boot in the neck technique to enforce it. Skeltech is still making all the high tech stuff they always make. Except maybe now they're making more weapons. Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Where can I find J. Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skelltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but his drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? We're just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, I see our wounded. Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah? And then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour. <sighs> you ready for your personal tour of Erewhon? Just don't forget to swing by the gift shop. Never. Now, the naval station closed down years ago. Who are these kids? The birds and the bees, Nomad. We've got three generations living on this island. If I can be blunt, I don't like you soldiers being here. It puts these kids at risk. But my old man bleeds red, white, and blue, so we'll never turn our backs on you. I can sort you out if you need any gear or supplies. You and your troops can bivouac over there. If you really get to feel froggy, you can talk to Sergeant Rowan Brown. He used to be Kiwi SAS. He likes scouting around the island for those elite troops. They call themselves wolves. Rowan likes picking fights with them. And over in our war room, we're working on our own logistics. You can usually find Mads in there. There's a Skeltic engineer, Jericho, hanging around. She's worried about something big on another island. You might need to bring some friends with you on that picnic. So like I said, we will never turn our backs on you, but you better not do anything to put this community in danger. Oh, I think you've got a hunch it's already in danger. But don't worry. I'll do my best to keep all of you safe. Let's hope it's enough. Oh. Hey. 
How are you, man? <sighs> Nomad. Who's left? Who made it? Hey, you just relax, pal. I'm doing what I can. You damn superhero. <sighs> Here. Here's another superpower. I can't find Midas. But Weaver... Hey, just relax, pal. We'll take care of it, all right? And the Wasp. Yeah. And with the comms blackout, I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Mad Shells, the big guy. He might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go. How's your pal? Holding up. Thanks for looking after him. You heard anything about a Lieutenant Colonel Walker? That the guy that works with the troops call themselves the Wolves? Used to be Skeltech's military advisor. Heard he was an operator. You know him? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, we met a couple times. You got a mean look in your eye. You got big plans? You know how I can get off this island? Right. And leave us regular folk to fend for ourselves, huh? Auckland is 2,000 kilometers away. It's an awful long way to run with your tail between your legs. I'm not running, Mads. The USS Wasp is a couple dozen clicks off the coast. If I can get there, I can come back here with some help. The Wasp, huh? Not sure I'm fond of the idea of a bunch of squids running around our island. <sighs> well, there are a couple of jarheads on board, too. Well, if that's the case... Look, I'll be straight with you. We know that we're no match for former spec ops. So some of our friends, homesteaders and Skell employees both, are leaving the island on a couple of boats. Can you get them protection on the Wasp? Absolutely. All right. I'll tell you where the boats are.
Don't hurt us. Please. I'm not gonna hurt anyone. Mad Schultz sent me. You don't look like homesteaders. Well, I worked... I, I work uh, for Skeltech. Mads is a friend. When Sentinel started arresting people, he helped us out. Why did he send you? My chopper got to this island from a Navy ship just a few dozen clicks off this coast. I can get these bolts back to that ship, then I can come back here with help. <laughs> well, <laughs> certainly sounds better than taking a boat all the way to Auckland. <laughs> what happened to your chopper? I'm still working that out. You leave it someplace? <laughs> yeah. Maurice Fox. This is my daughter, Harmony. It's nice to meet you. Call me Nomad. You know, we, we met another soldier. He said his name was, um, Hill. Josiah Hill? Is he here? No. Uh, he helped us get around some of Sentinel's men, but he was injured. Well, uh, not, not, not badly. We left him at this uh, fishing building area thing. I actually think I know what you're talking about. I'll pick him up after I get back. down my chopper I want to go home me too kiddo listen you have to get these people and you have to get out of here what no one is coming to save you and there's no ambulance on the way you have to run you have to get to air one okay yes yeah uh, are you coming with us I'm gonna find my friend Hill that fishing building you left him at was a fallback point there may be other soldiers good luck Thank <laughs> you. 